Factoring again. This time we're going to do factor by grouping. The first type of grouping to consider is grouping by groups of two. My code name, groupsies by twosies. All right, the first clue that factoring by grouping is going to work is there are too many terms to fit in any of the other patterns. We needed either difference of two squares, so you needed two parts, or perfect square trinomial, or sum and difference of cubes. Factor by grouping, the biggest clue, there's usually four terms. So four terms, think about first, common factor, next, groupsies by twosies. All right, there's no common factor. So let's do groupsies by twosies. Here's a group, here's a group. Two groups of two. In this first group, the common factor is a y. I'm going to factor out a y. That was easy. Look at the next group. What's common there? They're divisible by 2. So, 2. x plus 3. Notice anything? Let me underline the two groups for you. Group one, group two. Two groups. Is there anything in the first group that's also in the second group? You see it? I do. They both have x plus three. How about factor out the x plus three? Here we go. Factor out the x plus three. Okay, so take it out of there. What's left? Y plus two. Answer. That's the factoring for that problem. How do you know it's the answer? How can you check? Multiply it out. Watch this. X times Y. X, Y. X times 2. 2X. Two 3 times Y. 3Y. Three, 3 times 2. 6. Okay. Do I have all the same things? The order's a little mixed up. But XY plus 3X. Whoops. Plus 3Y plus 2X plus 6. I can change the order. There we go, there's the answer. All right, let's try one more. Groupsies by twosies. Big clue, four parts. Separate them. There's a group, there's a group. Now the easy part, do a common factor for each group. What's the common factor here? Five cube. If I divide five cube here, I get a cube. If I divide 5q there, 5q into 5q, 1. Don't forget the 1. Very important. You need the 1. Next group. What do these two have in common? You know what? I grouped here. 5 into 10 is 2q. Alright. Now we're good. Let me write that a little bit in here. All right, 5 cubed. 5 into 10, 2 cubed, minus 1. All right, next group. What's common to this group and also to this group? They both have a T. So, factor out the T. If I take the T out of here, 2 cubed. If I take the T out of here, What's left? T goes into T how many times? One. Don't forget the one. All right. So, I did factor by grouping. I grouped by twos. Each group had a common factor. Look at the two groups that you have left. There's group one, there's group two. Do you see what I see? Each group has one thing in common. 
What do they have in common? Look carefully. Each group has this same currency. Well, let's factor. Let's take that same currency. 2Q minus 1. I'm going to take it from this group. And I'm going to take it from this group. And what is left goes in that parenthesis. What's left here? 5Q. What's left over here? A T. What sign should I put? A plus sign. Here we go. There's the answer. You can check one, this one yourself if you multiply that out. I'm not going to waste your time, but if you're nervous about an answer, always check by multiplying it out. You know what you should get when you multiply what you started with. So, that's group C's by 2's. One more type of group. 